Hello and welcome to Hex Bash Plays, where today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different than the Pokemon TCG. And the number one thing I want to do is take this channel in a different direction. I would like to do game reviews, uh, tech reviews, and things of that nature. So today we're going to be reviewing the HP 590P0044. Now, I originally purchased the machine as a family computer, but I didn't realize that it was actually a quite capable machine. Uh, I was expecting that it would, you know, perform well enough for everyday simple tasks like email, browsing the web, and all that kind of stuff. However, what I didn't know is that if you pair it with a graphics card, it actually becomes a quite capable gaming machine. Now, that's 1080p gaming, and it's not going to be anything spectacular. It's not going to blow your mind, and it's not even going to do 4K gaming, and not even 2560 by 1440p gaming, as I discovered, uh, even though uh, I, I did try it in a few games. However, the results were pretty bad, and I'm not even going to include them in my review. However, uh, for 1080p gaming, it is awesome. Uh, <laughs> and I paired it with an AMD RX 560, more, more specifically an MSI Radeon RX 560 Aero ITX edition. Um, I could get the box and take a picture of it or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But anyway, uh, I was actually quite blown away at its capabilities as a 1080p gaming rig. Now, I did do some benchmarking to the machine, uh, but before we go over benchmarks and things like that, I need to inform you of a few things. So, number one, it only comes with 12 gigs of RAM. That 12 gigs of RAM is going to hold it back from doing many games very well. Uh, it can game decently with 12 gigs of RAM, and for older titles, like Battlefield 1, uh, GTA 5, uh, just a multitude of games, uh, especially esports titles. It'll play those games just fine, but for newer games, AAA titles, it's going to chug along. And even in Apex Legends, which I did try, and I don't have the footage, unfortunately, to show you guys, even though I really wish I did, uh, I had it at 1080p, and it did fairly well. Uh, but I did have to turn some of the settings down and some to medium in order to get that uh, 60 frames per second target that I was hoping for. However, when you get into a firefight and other things like that, you will slow way down to about 35 frames per second or worse. Um, but it will come right back up to 60 frames per second, which is not bad. So, overall... Uh, it is a decent, decent computer, but I'm going to throw some of the benchmarks up here for you, and then I will show you some of the videos of the footage I was able to capture, and let's get it started off with Air Glider from the 3D Mark Pro suite of game, uh, suite of benchmarks. Thank you.
found out that most of the footage that I have is not usable, but I do want to give my conclusion on uh, this uh, setup. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a screenshot here of the different frames per second that you can expect from different video games. Uh, however, the only two clips that I got from my uh, USB drive uh, were the CSGO clip that you saw and that uh, phone video that I took from my phone of the benchmark video uh, just because I wanted to show off that it can run on a 27 inch monitor and I also have a, a picture of the entire setup and what that looks like but anyway uh, thank you very much for watching this video I am switching formats so to speak because I do want to become a tech channel as opposed to just a one trick pony of Pokemon TCG and all that but I'm also going to do Hearthstone videos in the future uh, and any other games that I, I see fit I also have my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash hexbash, so please go ahead and give that a like or a follow. Uh, like and subscribe this video if you liked it, thumbs down it if you didn't, and I want to say thank you again very much for watching and have a great day.